Piggly Wings has come to the capital of the Westerlands. The great city of King's Landing. All those Lannister soldiers. Here we are going to find the Red Keep, which should be up in the hill. I've heard that there's a place that I can go so I can finally go back home. And it's not, it's not gonna be great because I really need to return home. And my only way home is through this place, the Red Keep. I really don't want to be here. I've heard that the king here is an asshat. Uh, Barrison, you can hold here. I've heard you are, aren't welcome. Excuse me. <clears throat> what do you want? I want to enter the hall and speak to the lord. You can go in after leaving your weapons with me. No one is allowed to carry arms into the lord's hall. Here, takes my arms. I'll go inside. Look at that. The Iron Throne. On the King's Guard. Famous Golden Knights. With the King up there. Oh, goodness me. So, uh, this guy is Sandor Clegane the Hound, King Joffrey Baratheon, Lord Commander Jamie Jamie Lannister. Wait. The letter I was supposed to... Uh, I must take a letter to King Stannis Baratheon. Yeah, and the letter contains a very delicate matter. Oh, boy. I think I should go tell him but nonetheless my job is with him Lord Varys how you doing bald man how you doing sir well met worry traveler I'm Lord Varys and I serve here in the King's Landing the master of whispers on King's small council very perceptive of you, sir. Yes, I'm the Master of Whispers. And I'm an advisor to the king. I serve whomever sits in the Iron Throne. Who at the moment happens to be King Joffrey Baratheon. Now, what business do you uh, do have here in King's Landing? Sorry, I'm not want to disclose my secrets just to anyone. No need, Piggly Wigs. Westeros is full of little birds that whisper me secrets, my friend. Something you should do, wise to remember. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, it's not every day I find a man seeking to earn my favor. Very few would be of a mind. The king would offer lands and title for the heads of his enemies. Lord Baelish would prefer coin for those who work on his behalf. Many a lord, and indeed many a king, would offer such the same. But me? Why, I've only the reward of my friendship. If that is... No use to you, then I bid you good day. Friendship to the greatest spy master in all the lands is nothing to squander if you offer it, Lord Varys. Hmm, yes. Well met. We'll see. Well, if you're so eager, please me. I do happen to have small errand to run. An agent of mine in Dorne is due to deliver to me a report on center going on. Normally I would send one of my usual little helpers, but you seem ready for the journey right now. Make your way into Sunspear and introduce yourself to everyone you meet as a merchant selling happy dreams. My agent will greet you with a request for sad memories. Happy dreams, got it. You'll be given a roll of paper with a coded message with your task to deliver to me in haste. I trust you're up to this task. It shall be done, Lord Varys. 
Also, since we are near King's Landing, I can go to the tavern, get some food, and probably a boat. I, can, I yeah, uh, I have a boat. No, I don't have a boat. Okay, never mind. Ah, here we are. Hey, this. I like to buy me and my man a barrel of your fairest ale. Of course, my lord. I reckon. 1,200 silver stack, don't worry. The money is not a problem to me. <laughs> Look at this bastard sword. Look at me. Yeah. Anyway, Piggly Wings must return to his home. And so, he will travel to another port. But, he will go to the city of Dragonstone. Or the town, castle, whatever it is. I need to go to Dragonstone. 830. Let's go. I am here, but I don't think that the King Stannis is here. Hello, sir. Sir Davos Seaworth, do I know you? My name is Piggly Wink, sir. I'm Sir Davos Seaworth, vassal of Dragonstone. Um, I wish to ask you something. Uh, I would like to know where King Stannis is in the field. Should be close to Stone Dens at the moment. Okay, good. I must be going to leave. Lady Lysi Florent Axel Florent Oh boy We found him He was out on the fields Near Stone Dance Do I know you? <laughs> My name is Sigley Winx That's your service I'm King Stannis Baratheon The ruler of Dragonstone The lord of Dragonstone Claw Ire And Cracklaw Good day your grace I have some important news You may be interested in hearing I'm listening. <laughs> Interesting indeed, although expected. Piggly Wings, see yourself out. It seems I have work to do. <laughs> well, it solves many things, but I have to travel to what appears to be Sun Spear. I've heard that on the Weeping, if I go to Weeping Town, I can get a boat to get to Dragon uh, to uh, Sunspear, which will be a good idea. Oh God, this is this is there's battles and bandits everywhere. Everything is dangerous. The Weeping Town is near me, so I should get there. Apparently, if I bring something back, I can finally ah, rest. Ah, good. We'll wait for tomorrow. Are you looking to travel to another town? I need to go to Sunspear. Okay, let's go. Ah, good. They will take me here. To this town and after that I can now travel through the desert probably hunting down some desert bandits I faced those before I think boom there we go stroll through town now he said to present myself oh too early yet <laughs> Okay, never mind. I'll just wait for the morning. I'll wait for some time. Stroll through town. Selling happy dreams. Oh, goodness me. How will I know? Through all these people. Um, some very happy dream. What can I do? Ah, never mind. Hey, you lady. Uh, I don't know. Did he give another detail? Lady. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'm a traitor. Maybe this guy. Oh, it's a lady. Hey, lady, lady. Damn it. Uh, 
damn it all. That guy here. Child. A woman here, happy dreams. <sighs> that seems a bit suspicious, don't you think, Selmy? He must be the contact. <sighs> I'm in luck. Townsman. I'm a trader, and I can sell you some very happy dreams. Greetings, trader. Can I have some sad memories? Lovari sent me to retrieve his coded message. Have you got it? Yeah, it's right here. I thought it should have at least a few days. But it's good to see a friend earlier than planned. Please make sure the message reaches Spymaster quickly and safe. I will. Farewell. Come on, sell me. We're leaving Sunspear. And so our journey begins. A few men traveling. For a man who will one day leave. <sighs> Piggly Wins does have some magical abilities. But not much. He doesn't have enough power to return home. So, he will regain his power once he finally gets back home. And in doing that, oh, we are nearing Harvest Hall, the seat of House Selmy. Tell me more. I grew up at Harvest Hall. The land around here is extremely arable. Harvest Hall produces more crops than most regions in the Stormlands. I was next in line to inherit the seat of House Selmy, but gave up my claim after becoming King's Guard. That's a great story, Selmy. I've heard some stuff about you. It's really cool. Right, so we're near the big road, the main road. Oh boy. King's Landing. Lord Varys. I got your message with me. Ah, my message. The seal is unbroken and my cipher is undisturbed. Well done. I, I may have misled you earlier. For I am not master of coin. But I've always my, have my way acquired needed funds. Here you go. And do remember to come back later. In case I might have for use of you. Oh no, don't worry. I have all time. Ah, Piggly Wings, it is unfortunate that you arrived. I've got a job for someone of your caliber. In this city, at this very moment, is a spy, and not one in my service, I might add. I know who he is and what his business here is, and though it would simplicity itself to have him seized, I fear that this act might alert his cohorts within the walls. He intends to leave tonight and head south led by the King's Road. My sources report him earlier, asking travelers about it that way. Like as not, the man intends to meet with someone far from prying eyes, and I want you to follow him. Capturing the spy is paramount, but his contact would be an excellent prize as well. There may be es they may have escorts. Deal with them as you see fit. I shall be done. I know what I have to do. Capturing spies is part of the game. Actually, but I have to travel. Okay, uh, not armor. Weapons. Do I have something that can knock him out? A staff. Yes, I can use a staff to knock him out. To knock them out. But my party. Yeah, Mormont does have blunt weapons, Baron Grey doesn't. <sighs> Not many have blunt weapons. Oh no. <sighs> we'll do what we can. Oh, here's the spy. Hey, 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 don't you disappear. In the middle of the night. Oh no, 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 don't tell me he's disappeared. Come on. Where is he? Come on, I'm an excellent tracker. It's impossible. Ah, come on, don't you tell me. Oh.
Is there really no, no one more? I hope we don't screw this up. Is it truly there? Peter, Squire, and Alfred. Never mind, I just pass him by. Oh no, don't tell me he left. Hopefully alive. Lead your troops. Seven. Hey, 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 come here. Ah, uh, F3. Use only blunt weapons. boys come on boys blunt weapons only come on knock him out knock him out Okay, F3. Use weapons at will. Kill them all. Come on and destroy them all. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, we did it. So we captured them. <sighs> Ladies and uh, people, we failed. We only managed to capture one guy. Only one guy. I was catching the spy. Oh wait, we captured the spy? Heck yeah! Woo! Never mind then, I thought we failed. But we catch them. Alright, let's go back. Actually, he does have a second mission. Hang on. Hang on. Hello again, my friend. It is good to see you once more. An urgent matter has arisen. One I think you are best suited to resolve. I'll be brief. A rather large group of hedge knights has set up camp on the road leading to Duskendale. They claim to be about the king's business, which is strictly speaking untrue. I need you to assemble your own force and march out to meet them. Kill or capture every last one of them. They must ultimately be dispersed. I know I'm asking a great deal of you, but I assure you that this will be for the good of the realm. I trust your discretion and efficient yes, but well, are you up on the tax? I'll do it. <sighs> Well, guess I have to recruit some more men. You think you would find good soldiers <coughs> on Westeros, but no, apparently I have to go to Essos again. Seriously, again. <sighs> Goodness me. Talk about very, very expensive soldiers. Here you are. Surrender or die. All right, troops, get into position. Spearmen up front. Cavalry behind us. Infantry right about here. Actually here. And archers here. Come on, people, we have to move in. Move out, quickly. Oh, look at that, glorious. Now, where could that scum be? We will not falter. We will not relent.
They may be hedge knights, but we will not be defeated. We are the forces of Piggly Wings. Battle calls us. Here they come! Get ready! Infantry! Cavalry! Hold! 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 To that position, quickly now! Come on now! Come on now! I need to hit someone! Cavalry now! Charge them! Infantry, advance! Come on, boy! Come on! Fight me! Oh, you really? You really are gonna do that to my horse? To my beautiful horse? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't! Infantry charge! Come on! Oh, sorry, Death Rider. Who's left? Oh. Someone fleeing. Come on everybody, let's hunt him down. Oh, Gendry, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, that's well done. Well done. Lord Varys. Hello. I've eliminated the knight. It does me no end of good to see you safe and sound. My little bird reports a disturbance on the road to Duskendale and nasty business. But you're to be commended for your performance in the field. I suppose there's a little point in hiding the truth of the matter. That you, the deed is done. Those hedge knights you encounter and so roundly defeated were pawns in the employ of the Master of Coins. Your own Lord Baelish. They of course would not have known that. He used channels available only to a member of the small council to encourage the notion that they were on some grand venture on behalf of the king. Without any doubt, he'll have little trouble replacing them. The lands are rife with such desperate men. But your actions have streamed his plans and set his schemes back for the moment. Do not act surprised. The master of coins he may be, but Peter Baelish is no man to underestimate. His ambitions are a threat to the stability of the realm, and I strongly suspect he had a hand in bringing about the chaos that has engulfed Westeros. However, this is no concern to leave on your head. You've done your part, my friend. Here's your payment, as expected, and a special gift. The one gathering dust in the royal armory is merely a cheap replica, but only its original owner would ever be able to tell the difference. Fortunately, that's no concern that needed ever cross your mind. Thank you, my lord. Right, so let's see what he gave us. An old plate armor. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take this off. Oh my goodness. How the house Targaryen? Well, my friend, it seems that in spite of myself, I've grown to rely upon you. It's so hard to find good help these days, and in time, it will grow harder still. I've got another task for you. One thing fully less exciting than the hand. Are you familiar with skilled bravos, expert swordsmen, unequaled in the use of light blades and revered for their martial prowess among the free cities? Their talents. Uh, we need more warriors. Still, for some reason, I am in need of a dozen or so. Uh, I need time. Yes. Uh, please take me to 
Bravos. Oh god. Oh sure, yes. Um You have received a message from the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He has asked him if you could go meet him. Should you go? Well, we were on the middle of a mission, but I guess our stay at Westeros is gonna keep going. Well, I'll meet you there, my friends. This has been Piggly Wings and ADG. I will see you on the next one.